The Avondale resident team consists of just members of the community who wanted to make a difference as far as the infrastructure around the town and really just making sure that our residents had the opportunity at the best life that they could. The town of Avondale is about 600 people. It's very rural. When we were growing up, there was always a grocery store. There was a gas station, a lumber yard. It was a thriving community at one time. But right now, we're a transportation desert. Our infrastructure is old, and it needs to be upgraded. And we are a food desert. Even though we are living in farm country, we do not have access to local healthy foods. The only well, convenience store is the one right across from us, the Loaf and Jug, and that's it. If you need to go get groceries or healthy food, you have to drive to Pueblo, which is about 30 minutes. The Avondale resident team has been working on the issue of economic stability through the access of nutritional food, among other issues, and is using their culmination grant to establish a brick and mortar, hopefully permanent food pantry. What we envision for our food pantry is a welcoming place where community members can go um, knowing that the community has their back. For our local food pantry, we're going to utilize the concession stand at our baseball field. We got the assistance from Pueblo County to use the building and with the county agreeing to be our fiscal sponsor for the culmination grant, we're not going to have anybody come in and say, hey, you can't use that because it's a county owned building and they're, they're our partners on this. It has been gutted, it hasn't been used for many years. However, what we hope it looks like is a small grocery store. So we're hoping to have like freezers with the glass fronts in them and shelving. You will be able to grab a small basket, walk inside, shop, and just a place where again, community could come in, feel safe, access what they need, but also feel like they're doing it with dignity. So during the pandemic, the resident team reached out to Karen Share, and Karen Share brought their mobile market out here, which is a refrigerated truck. But we knew that the mobile market wasn't the long-term solution. Because if we did get the culmination grant, we'll be able to sustain our food pantry and hopefully it will continue to be a permanent part of our community. Both of my parents have diabetes, which was then uh, passed on to me. For me, being a diabetic, I need to have access to healthy foods that can naturally just increase my sugar or help me decrease it, stuff like that. So being able to help them and being able to help provide that healthy food for them is something that they appreciate a lot. Our food pantry will utilize food given to us by Care Insure. We have a partnership with them, but we are hoping to network with our local farming community to bring in those local produce as they're available during the seasons, as well as dairy, eggs, butter. If you do not have access to food, it's gonna affect you physically, it's gonna affect you mentally, and I think with the food pantry opening, it's going to be so important for people to be able to just have the peace of mind knowing that, oh, you know, at least we know that's over there. If we need to get something, we can go to the food pantry. These community leaders are really partnering with county government and other nonprofits and farmers living nearby. They're like, oh, we want to be part of this. And so this cohesion of these community leaders is, is just, it's growing. Like the network of leaders is growing and you can see how empowered they are when they work together. It's been beautiful. Being a community-led team means that you are able to not only empower yourself, but empower your community. And through this process, our community members have found their voice. More people attending town hall meetings. You see more residents here from Avondale making their way into Pueblo to be involved in a board of commissioner meetings. So I think that definitely our community is learning to use their voice and there is hope that something can be done here and be sustainable.
I'm really hoping that this is just a starter project with the county and we're able to build with that.